Welcome back to Principles of Engineering, and we're still working on problem set 1.1.2. Uh, and what we're solving is a simple machine. This is the last set where we're dealing with uh, screws and bolts. So the first question, number 26, just asks us to develop a concept sketch or a sketch for what the uh, screw system that is described. Uh, and I've done that for you. And let's go ahead and talk through a little bit of the reasoning behind this. So first of all, reading the problem, use some critical reading skills here. And be sure that you underline pertinent information. So one of the things that pops out right away is they talk about a 7 16 inch nut uh, and a one and a quarter inch handle driver. So we know that that driver handle is where we're going to apply our effort. Uh, we also know that the 7 16 nut, that really doesn't mean much to us right now. Uh, what really matters is the diameter of the bolt. So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the diameter of the bolt driver. Uh, so this is uh, the bolt and the nut driver, the 7 16 that it's referring to right here, uh, is really only the diameter of the head of the nut. So if you're not real familiar with nuts and bolts, you uh, wouldn't know that. But a 7 16 inch uh, head is what would you'd find on a quarter inch bolt, uh, quarter 20. Now they go through further and they say it's a quarter 20 bolt. So as you remember from your thread uh, orientation, you will remember that the quarter inch is the major diameter of the thread pitch. Uh, in or the threading and uh, the 20 uh, indicates 20 threads per inch so we have to know that the 20 quarter 20 uh, means that this is the diameter of the bolt on the major diameter and then these are the number of threads per inch so T P I uh, so those are two important things when you're doing your, your drawing. So I've drawn this out, rough sketch. Uh, I've shown that the 7 16 head is attached to the handle. The handle's an inch and a half in diameter. So that's the first problem. The next problem, very straightforward. They just basically ask you to reason through what the diameter is, uh, where, the, where the effort's applied. Well, we know we're going to apply the effort at the handle. So that's a quite simple and uh, easy formula. C equals to pi d or uh, 2 pi r, either one you want to use, but we're given d, so that's going to equal to approximately 3.14 uh, times 1.5 inches. Uh, that will subsequently equal about 4.71 inches, depending on how many, um, how many uh, significant digits you carry pi out to. So not really a very difficult problem at all. Now 28, remember what we talked about. We talked about that it, the, the uh, threads per inch is 20. So to determine the pitch, what we're really saying, this is really a ratio problem. Uh, what we're saying is uh, we have 20 threads in one inch. So we can flip that ratio around pretty easily. We can also say that one inch, therefore, has 20 threads. And uh, dividing that out, if we're going to find out the, the, the uh, threads per inch, it's really just 1 over 20 is the pitch. So quite straightforward again here. Uh, and the pitch equals to 0 0.0. Five inches. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So let's move on to number twenty-nine. Now twenty-nine, we're asking for uh, we're asking for the uh, mechanical advantage computations of it. Uh, again, not a real hard problem. So if you look at your formula sheet, you will realize that the mechanical advantage. Uh, is equal to the circumference for a screw divided by the pitch. So we've already computed both of those values and we said that it's 4.71 inches divided by 0 0.05 inches. My units cancel out and what I end up with here 
then is uh, 4.71 divided by 0 0.05. So I end up with a mechanical advantage somewhere in the vicinity of 94.2. Again, your, uh, your answer may vary slightly uh, depending upon how many units you calculated using pi but I would have rounded that for significant distance to 4.71 anyway, so 94.2 is your answer here. And now we're up to our very last, uh, sorry, our very last problem here, that's 30. And what we are asked is we're asked uh, how much force to overcome uh, can be overcome at five pounds of effort force. So now what we're looking at is we're talking about our AMA uh, and and uh, what we would look at here is is to just basically say that if we set our mechanical advantage is uh, equal to 94.2 approximately, uh, that would be equivalent to our force ratios, force in versus force out. So all that that, that that's pretty simple. Uh, in what we could say is. Uh, we take our mechanical advantage of 94.2 times our input force, which is 5 pounds, and that would equal to our maximum output force here, and that would be about 471, eh, give or take, but 471.2 pounds about, we'll just round that off to 471 pounds of force out. So there you have the answer. That's it for these problem sets. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.